first. December 14th, 2012 changed Newtown. The tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary transformed a quiet community into a symbol of America's struggle with gun violence. For the past 10 years, each family that lost a loved one had to find a way to deal with their grief. Our Suzanne Gold clan caught up with Jennifer Hubbard, who has devoted the decade to helping animals in memory of her daughter, Catherine Violet. I want people to know that Catherine's life is making a difference now. Once upon a time, in a place called Newtown, a kindergartner dreamed of helping animals. She had made business cards for Catherine's animal shelter. I thought that they were using markers and, and construction paper. They had gotten onto Vistaprint. For Jennifer Hubbard, the memory represents her little girl's determination. You know, I, um, I found them after she died, and I realized that it was one of those moments of a path forward. That path became a road running through the Catherine Violet Hubbard Animal Sanctuary. How many times has it changed? The property has changed a lot. Initially, Jennifer prioritized programs over buildings. The Senior Paw Project provides needy pet owners vet care and food. We caught up with them this summer in Greenwich. It's like, wow, I mean, this, this is something that doesn't come every day, and it's really a gift from God, you know? Back at the farm, the vision unfolds. One of the requests that we had was no stone or granite memorial okay. to Catherine. A model shows planned educational facilities. It has red terracotta tile. It's um, for Catherine's hair. I, I often wonder, like, what would she be like as a 16-year-old? Because um, she was fiercely determined. It has been a journey. <laughs> there's, there's been, there has been, there have been highs and there have been lows. And I think that when you go through something as as horrible as losing a child, especially one that's lost so in such a public manner, it really forced it forced me to look at who I was. That struggle fills the pages of Jennifer's memoir. If Catherine had not died, I don't know if I would have really seen the goodness in people in the way that I do now. As December 14th, 2022 approaches. I'm fortunate enough to have people around me that acknowledge that, yeah, this is hard, like you're coming home to an empty house. But also look at, look at what you have in front of you. Jennifer will look back then forward. I'm fine. I'm, I am fine. We're, you know, at the end of the day, we're all going to be fine. In Newtown, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12, Connecticut. Each year, the sanctuary welcomes thousands of people for Catherine's Butterfly Party, a celebration of the girl who would have turned 16 on June 8th.